Hello Fada, accent on the Irish language, basic notes and background for the curious, with session leader Renata Henley. From the Hedge School at the Irish Roots Cafe, more courses and information found at www.irishroots.com. Falcharo of a harja, gadi hello fada, Sharanata Ansha. Welcome to the Irish Head School, and we've got a treat for you today. We're announcing our eighth uh, podcast feed going out here. We're we're really uh, enjoying this quite a bit, and uh, we have the head session leader here with us today. I think you're going to enjoy that. I've caught her. She's just come outside. She's been doing a class here at the cafe for several years now. She's a favorite, and. Uh, well, this really doesn't have anything to do with this podcast, but two years ago, she did win the Irish Song Contest. That's where you had to sing a song in Irish, and uh, not only was she the favorite emotionally among the students here, she just really took the hall by storm. But what we're here to talk about today is the new uh, Irish language-related podcast, and we're going to talk about not just about language, but also about a little bit about culture and uh Think of it as an introduction before something that you might take before you actually took a formal uh, uh, class in Irish. We're going to make it very easy and simple for a few lessons here just so you get used to it. And then uh, after a while, you can decide if you want to go on to something a little more serious. Uh, Well, how are you doing today, Renata? Well, thanks for asking there, Michael. I'm doing grand. Well, could you tell the folks a little bit about who you are, where you came from, and what experience you've had with the Irish? Sure. I started studying Irish back in Berkeley, California, at the college there, and uh, loved it, loved it immensely, and then went over to Ireland to University College Dublin and did a couple of years there for a postgraduate degree, and I went off to the Gael Talked a couple of times. I was down in, Duny- well, sorry, down in um, Galway and up in Donegal for Gale Talked time, if well, that now, makes any sense to you. But now, wait, Gale Talked, <laughs> what might that mean? That's when you go and you do an immersion course in the Irish language in an area where it's mostly Irish speaking. So if somebody says, I'm going to the Gale Talked, or I've been to the Gale Talk, that means they're going to where they speak the old Irish language. That's it. They're going to a part of Ireland where the Irish has never died and where people are still raised bilingually. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. It's and pretty amazing. So did you meet the people there and study with them or just talk with them? Well, you go to a class usually. There's a formal class, but you also stay in a house with a, uh, with a native speaker who's called your Banatee. Yes. Uh, we'll slow that down a little bit and say ban Tea, but when you say it fast, it's ban Tea, and she's the woman of the house, and she speaks in Irish to you all day long, well, in the evenings, and during the day you're in class, so... And you're, you speak only Irish the entire time. So it's sort of like basic training. They strip you of everything you thought you knew and you start out from scratch. And if you want to get fed, you have to know how to say, That's feed it. me in Irish. That's it. And I tell uh, you, by the end of my time there, I was dreaming in Irish, which was pretty cool. Ooh, that's excellent. I'm yeah. going to want to talk to you about that in some of these later episodes. We can explore that. Is there a different way of thinking when you think Irish? I think there is. You know, yeah. is it, there, there's a different yeah. way of speaking, a diff- little different way of maybe putting things into the sentence structures. And uh, that's all part of the interesting things you don't know you're learning when you learn a language. Uh, now, you know, you've been teaching here at the uh, the head school, like I said, for a while. How have you found these classes? Have you uh, have you enjoyed the students, or what do you think about uh, teaching it over here in America? Well, I love the students. I think th- it's amazing that Americans who can't go out into the world and use their Irish every day want to learn and then incorporate it into their lives somehow. Um, they learn how to sing songs, and they sing to themselves, or they s- tell off their boss in Irish and tell them they said something else entirely, or they've maybe got a little secret language between them and their husband or their wife, you know. It would be like a code language when you're out and you want to say, uh, this waitress isn't serving us right, and you don't want her to hear it. That's it. Very few people in America speak Irish, so it's a great uh, secret language. I'm thinking now we've got another couple of sessions we can add to this series, and we're going to talk about doing things like that so you have this little code developed. It'd be sort of like code talkers. 
Hmm, I wonder if they <laughs> used them in World War II. I don't know. Well, gosh, and and I think you're going to teach uh, at least a verse of a song sometime here in the oh, next, absolutely. The next I, few I, weeks. I, I can't believe you brought up the uh, competition because my voice is awful, but I do love to sing. So I inflict it on people whenever I can. Ah, uh, they loved it here, I'm telling <laughs> you. And you can't you can't come in first and be the master of a, a session like that uh, without being good. So, hmm. so you must have the true spirit. <laughs> Well, now, what else do you think? uh, uh, I think, you know what I think we ought to do? Uh, You're the expert, so I'm going to leave it to you. I'll just be here to provide uh, comic relief. But I think each day we should uh, uh, keep it very simple. Uh, We won't get into conjugating verbs or anything like that for the first couple of months. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should just pick a word and say, well, here's a word. Talk a little bit about that word and uh, what it might mean, how it might be used, and... uh, also get into some of your experiences that word might conjure up for you and that way it'll be something very easy people can deal with uh how's that sound that sounds great i just i'd i want you to make it known michael that i don't claim to be an expert yes right i'm not a university teacher right we're head school teachers that's right i've done a lot of practice and a lot of study but i'm also you know i've I'm, i lived in ireland 10 years but i've been away from ireland for five already so I do feel a bit rusty. So I just don't want people to think I'm the be all end all. Oh, no. And, you know, it. you're really perfect because we call ourselves session leaders and we ask for help. If anybody sees something, says, well, wait a minute, that's not quite right. Well, we leave a uh, there's a phone number we leave at the end of each uh, session and you call in and let us know on our recorder and we'll check it out and we'll sure we'll sure be aware of it. And uh, we appreciate that help. We're not uh, pointing ourselves out as the best in the world. That's we're just it. we're just here to help a few people that we can. And uh, as always, we're just part of the puzzle. You've got to put the whole thing together yourself. But we Absolutely. hope you enjoy what we have uh, we have to give. Well, what else do you think we're going to be uh, telling these folks over the next couple of months? Oh, dear. Um, we could talk about basic introductions, uh, how to say who you are and what you do. Um, we could learn to count in Irish. We uh, could oh, yeah, count to 10. Yeah, we could talk about the differences in the language, sounds and alphabet and grammar. I mean, we won't go deep into grammar, but just significant differences between Irish and English. And how um, about the, oh, what is that, om or ogum? Om. Om, om, om or Ogham. Like the Ogham stones? The Ogham stones or the Ohm stones, we, which g- date way back to the Iron Age period. Right. Um, and then we could talk about uh, all the funny ways Irish people say things and about, in English and maybe how that comes from yeah, Irish. Yeah, wetting the tea. Oh, I think I'll tea. wet the tea. Now, and they say that's falling out of uh, focus in Ireland, but it used to be very that's common up That's because Starbucks north. has come in. Ah, uh, that's yeah, it. That we're going to take it. you back a few hundred years into the midst of Irish <laughs> history here. At least we're going to try We're going to have some fun. And uh, like I said, we won't start off all with any conjugation or plus Pluto perfect uh, tenses, <laughs> th- things like that. I'm here to protect you it's from that sort word, of Michael. thing. <laughs> yeah. Although she does know all that, all those things. So after the first three or four months, we might move into it. But that's all I had to say this first uh, session. Renata, why don't you uh, uh, finish it off with anything, any last minute thoughts you might have? Well, it's, I just want to say that we're all learning. And by teaching at the Hedge School, I keep my practice up and I learn more. And I hope the people who listen will be interested in learning more. And it's, it's just such a beautiful language. Everyone should know a little bit. Well, and that leaves me with just one last thing to say. Uh, Renata, you also do some work in uh, jewelry, don't you? Oh, that's my other job, yeah. And what and what do you call that? It's called Store Irish for Treasure. Oh. And that's the Irish word store means treasure. Oh, that's S-T-O-R. S-T-O-F-A-D-A-R. Oh, Fada. There's that word Fada. We're going to have to talk about Fada in the next uh, episode, I think. I think so. And, I, and a lot of people out there are probably saying, hello, Fada. <laughs> Hello, Mada. That's it. Here I am. I got that from my students. That's what they do. (laughs) That's it. So it's been a lot of fun. We look forward to seeing you each week here on the show. And uh, as always, the Hedge School needs your help and your support. And uh, we'll take anything at all, either your comments or uh, donations or a membership. And we're playing it by ear here. But this is our eighth series, and uh, it's going to be a good one and a fun one. And until later, hello, Fada. Slondanish. Hello Fada is a presentation of the Irish Head School at www.irishroots.com. These introductory sessions are for those curious about the Irish language and for those considering a course of study in the future. 
Renata, your session leader, also offers a course of study in the Irish language and language services on a regular basis. Contact us on our webpage at irishroots.com or by mail at the Irish Roots Cafe, Box 7575, Kansas City, Missouri, 64116. Leave a message on our phone recorder at 816-256-3360. Your hedge school needs your support. Sponsors and memberships are always welcome. So ends another session from the sunny side of the hedge.